In today's video, I'll introduce the Knife Center exclusive Small Archeo by Artisan Cutlery. This is a very sweet looking knife that has many cool things going for it. It comes with Damascus steel, wooden scales and fidgety action, just to name a few. And in this review, we'll take a closer look at how this thing actually works. Hey everyone, welcome to Salvo EDC. If you're new to the channel, I highly recommend you to check out my social media, especially my Instagram, where I post original knife pictures every day. And if you enjoy my content, please like this video and subscribe for more. Now, let's get back to our knife, which is pretty special, especially in my collection, because I'm not necessarily into elegant slip joint kind of things. Most of the time I review either utilitarian workhorse CDC or badass tactical gear, because that's what my life's about. However, in late December, even I have to take a break and go to some Christmas parties, sip some eggnog, have some fruitcakes and at least try to behave. For those fancy occasions, I usually need a classy knife to match my elegant outfit and to look less of a caveman. This is when I usually reach for this artisan Archeo. In my opinion, this knife is a typical good example of what a true gentleman's carry knife looks like. The Archeo offers some pretty exciting things that make this knife a lot cooler than other traditional gentleman folders. For example, it comes with a beautiful raindrop Damascus steel, stabilized pack of wood handle scales and a crazy smooth fidgety action. It also has an attractive design with harmonious clean lines and it comes in less than 2 ounces, so we can also say that it is sleek and lightweight. Plus, its unique locking mechanism combined with this sub 3 inch cutting edge makes it legal to carry in most places around the globe. And if I'm already deep into the specs, I'll also talk about this gorgeous milk clip and similarly champagne colored backspacer. I looked up the coding on these on Knife Center, but I found no information. However, they are not magnetic, so I strongly suspect anodized titanium, similar to the rest of the lineup. This will also explain why their coding is so dang durable. This knife is a member of Artisan Cutlery's Archeo family, which is designed by Dylan Mallory. If you don't know his work, you should check him out on Instagram. He's a cool guy who's always in touch with his audience. His work made this knife pretty unique and the most surprising thing that I need to show you is this action. Most regulations would describe the Archeo as a non-locking folder, however it is not a sleep joint and not even a friction folder. This thing comes with a detent locking mechanism, much similar to a double detent mechanism, which simply means that the same way the detent ball keeps the blade shut, it also keeps it open. This Archeo model you see here is the very first one that arrives with this so-called detent lock because the rest of the lineup usually uses a TI frame. One thing that I especially like and enjoy about this mechanism is a very tactile and distinctive click. So you always know when your knife is properly open or closed. Between the two stages the blade can move around freely and since the action uses the same detent ball in both stages the blade requires the same force to disengage, which makes this action very predictable. As a result, the Archeo became one of the best fidget knives in human history. I mean, this action is insanely fun, snappy and addictive. I catch myself very often clicking this knife in and out like it was a ballpen. But wait, the coolest part is yet to come? If you grab this proprietary stop pin and stick it into your knife, it turns your Archeo into a super reliable fixed blade like configuration. So this teensy little pin under the blink of an eye turns this quote-unquote weak locking mechanism into an extremely strong one, which is very ironic in my opinion. If you buy this knife, it comes in this exact configuration out of the box with this very cord. The only thing I changed was its length as it was a bit out of control. So you can also leave your pin with your knife 24-7 and you can also plug it in when your knife is closed and that way it will prevent the Archeo from opening. And I know that on your screen this tampon string might look a little strange, but in real life it's pretty okay in my opinion. However, I never really use this top pin to be honest, because the Archeo's flipper tab is very well designed and in its open position it completely blocks the blade from closing on your fingers. Shout out to Dylan yet again, because this solution works very nicely. And when it comes down to working nicely, the Archeo also cuts like a dream. This modified Warncliffe blade style is very similar to a Kershaw Leak, which is one of my favorite EDC beater knives, so if I wanted to I could probably squeeze out the same performance from this one also. With this Knife Center exclusive Archeo version, we got Ouija Tembase Damascus, 
which is a pretty average N690 equivalent blade steel. It has a huge fan base and many people love using it, but in my opinion, if it was not dressed up in this fancy Damascus wrapping, it would be a pretty boring mid-range balanced steel. This way, however, I'm super pleased, because at this specific price point, manufacturers usually don't tell us what's in their Damascus mix. And at least Artisan Cutlery was transparent about it and let us know. So this knife costs around $130 on Knife Center, but personally, I bought it on sale for 100 bucks. And for that amount, in my opinion, this knife is a pretty good bang for your buck. Equally priced mainstream VG10 knives with plastic scales cost roughly the same, but this Archeo is a lot more special, a limited edition, plus it also has some nice looking wooden scales. So in this comparison, I would highly recommend it. The only thing that bugs me about this knife is one small detail, and it is literally speaking a super tiny detail. If you look at the blade closely, at the base you might discover an engraving, which refers to the country of origin. And I'm not pissed about this because it says China. I'm mad about this because in my opinion this is a terrible place and angle for such a text. If you look toward the spine of the blade, you can see that despite the Damascus artisan cutlery successfully put some billboarding on this knife, and I simply don't understand why couldn't they just put the China text up there. Why did they have to screw up this Damascus pattern on two different spots? If you guys have the answer, please let me know in the comments what you think. But despite the China text and the $100 I paid for it, this knife does not feel cheap by any means. The Archeo comes with a perfect centering and absolutely zero blade play. There's however a tiny bit of up and down blade wobble due to the nature of the detent mechanism, but if you plug in the pin, it also becomes pretty much zero. So the Archeo in practice is truly unique, but if I really had to compare this knife to something else, I would most likely grab my Kershaw League, because size-wise they are right up the same alley, and their blade shape is also super similar. This comparison would be even better if I had the Framelock Archeo and the old school League instead of this random one. But I'd like to bring in another very cool knife, also well dressed for the holidays. And that is the Rainier Fastpack, wrapped into this fancy Christmas paracord just in case. These are the two most popular knives under my Christmas tree, and they usually go from hand to hand as we open our presents. And when this happens, somebody always compliments the Archeo, saying how much they love this raindrop Damascus steel and the wooden scales. So that's about this knife guys, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you like it and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'm not sure how much I can post throughout the holidays, because my business is also moving to a new warehouse, so I'll grab the chance right now and wish every one of you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Thank you for watching today's video all the way, and I'll see you in the next one.